So I thought I would speak about reading CSV files with standard C++. That's a fan activity. So, you know, I've been thinking about CSV files a lot this year, and I've been very happy about it because in front of the conference, uh, you know, I needed to read the CSV file to get the batches done. So this was rather helpful. Um, and so, you know, have you ever read the ISO CSV standard, the international standard on copper simulated values? Uh, yeah. It doesn't exist. So parsing CSV files is fun. And the standard answer I get from every developer, oh, that's easy. We have that on the standard. It's even in ranges. So you can, you can use split. Split will do the job, right? And technically, that's, that's true. Practically, it's a lie. Um, so if you look at the example, yeah, it does the work. Um, there is just a little problem. In reality, CSV files look not like comma-separated values. You actually have like uh, you know the option to have quotes, and with quotes, um, you get to have the comma or whatever separates your values again. And um, split will happily split that. So we have a split, which has its use cases in the standard, and will split that for you. But then you, you know, have to glue the other stuff again together. And but the standard can help you. If you're talking about quotes, you also have something to read a quoted string in the standard, which is std quoted. And if you could combine those, um, it'd be nice. But I'm not aware that there is a quoted in the ranges, or that you could build something like that in ranges. It'd be interesting. Um, maybe someone could show us that next year. Um, but the quoted in the standard goes to C17. And you can either uh, read in a string view or not. No, no. You can, you can uh, write a string view. It's an I.O. manipulator. So you can read or write a quoted string from an I.O. stream. Um, and when I read a CSV file, I like to work with string views because I don't want to get another allocation. So um, using like a, a string stream and reading into a and, and reading then this the quoted into another string is not really an option. And there's like, I understand that it's probably for the standard, not like an I.O. manipulator for an, an uh, I.O. stream is possible to give you a string view on the I.O. stream. But it would be nice to kind of, you know, basically um, have this interface uh, where you can read from a string or a string view and get a string view back and have a delimiter. But then, um, there's actually a CSV file I'm really interested to read because it, inter it contains interesting data. And unfortunately, that has also this character in it, in quotes. And this prevents you from using getLine. And getLine is really, it's really nice to use if you, you know, want to write an import or importing things, and it's just always the same string you, you get, get to reuse mostly. Uh, it's fast, efficient. But in that case, um, you have to write extra code to accommodate uh, the ability to have uh, new lines in, or that basically the data set is multiple lines potentially um, in your quoted strings. So, The split basically, you could like you know do the splitting and then you could do the merging because all this does is operate on views and so you keep uh, the characters between that so which are actually the content for you which you don't want to lose and so um, I thought that is a fun exercise for the audience 
to present the best solution next year as a talk, maybe, at the conference. Um, but let me talk about uh, why I think that's interesting to me. Um, I talked earlier that I want to actually uh, look at statistics from CSV files, and one of the CSV files which is really interesting for me is uh, the data containing my records about butterflies. And I do that now for a couple of years, and it would be really useful to see the trends and the population, and just, you know, um, when you do the monitoring in a year, um, you kind of get a feeling for how the population is, but it would be nice to be able to compare that to the past years. And then maybe also have like multiple CSV files as, as an input, because there's of course two websites which contain the same data, uh, one for Germany, one for the uh, Dutch area, which I happen to every now and then also stroll in, either by on purpose or by accident. Um, and the side effect of all this butterfly works is uh, some images, as you see here, um, which then end up in a calendar. And I'm still looking for a website to maybe you know make that accessible to you. Um, and I thought it's maybe also you know a nice end to the conference to show you some pictures before we actually get started to you know begin our ending ritual where we have a speaker um, present us the closing keynote, which is basically the next thing, and this will now be a little break half an hour 